Hello and welcome to the nitrogen cycle video. We've already been talking for the last few days about the water cycle. And how important that is to the earth and to us. And we've talked about how the water is included in all of the earth's four spheres, right? The atmosphere, the geosphere, the biosphere, and the hydrosphere, of course. Um, but we're moving on today to a new cycle, and that is the nitrogen cycle. The cycle where nitrogen does the same thing. It passes through all of Earth's four spheres. Now, the nitrogen cycle, just like water, um, passes that around through all of Earth's spheres because it is a very important nutrient to all living things. Both animals and plants need nitrogen um, in order to be here on Earth. Well, what is that nitrogen for? It is for our DNA, right? Our genetic makeup um, is consistent of a fair amount of nitrogen. N here in our DNA is revolving around the nitrogen that we find here on the Earth's surface. And it plays a key role in keeping us alive and keeping us here on Earth. Okay? Now, most of the nitrogen here that we find on Earth is found in the atmosphere. And of course, nitrogen in the atmosphere we know is a gas, um, and that gas is known as N2. Okay? Nitrogen in its gas phase likes to hook up with another nitrogen, so they stay buddied together or bonded together and become the molecule N2. About 78% of our atmosphere is composed of nitrogen. So how are we getting this nitrogen? Where is it coming from for us to utilize it within our DNA? Well, here's the thing. Um, when we take our breaths every day and we take in a great deal of that oxygen and we utilize it, we're also taking nitrogen in. However, we can't use it just through that simple process of breathing. We need to get that nitrogen through another way. And the way we get our nitrogen is through our friends, the plants. All right, so think to yourself for just a second, what is a way where we might be taking in nitrogen through plants? What do we need to do to get the nitrogen from those plants? Okay, if you said to eat those plants, you're thinking right on base. Okay, we need to eat or consume those plants that already have the nitrogen in them um, in order for them to be inside our system or for any animal to have the nitrogen in its system. So we've got to, of course, figure out then, well, how are these plants here? How are the trees and the plants around us getting that nitrogen in the first place if we know that most of it is stored here in the atmosphere as N2? Okay? There's one key thing that we know for the nitrogen cycle that helps convert that gas nitrogen into a usable form for plants, and that one thing is bacteria. Okay, I'm gonna encourage you to star, circle, underline, highlight, do something so that bacteria stands out to you. Bacteria is an important player within the nitrogen cycle. Bacteria is like the BFF of the nitrogen cycle. Okay, without that bacteria, this nitrogen cycle would not work the way that it does. Here's what the bacteria does for us. It is in the soil, and it converts that nitrogen that we know is a gas. It converts that N2 into a different type of nitrogen called ammonia. That's NH3. Now, here's what we know about ammonia. Ammonia is bad. Let's get a little sad face on there. Ammonia is bad. It is toxic for plants and animals. We don't like it. We can't deal with it. It's not good. So there's got to be more to our story. Here's what we know. We said bacteria was the BFF of the nitrogen cycle. It is because we have a second type of bacteria. Okay, that second type of bacteria is there to convert our bad ammonia, the one we don't like, to something good. And that's converting to nitrates, or NO3. 
three still has that N there in the molecule. We know that nitrates are the good type of nitrogen that plants need um, in order to create and use that nitrogen in the DNA that they need. Okay, so we've got our BFF bacteria here converting that NH3, that no good ammonia, into the nitrates that we know plants need. Once the nitrate is created, plants then can store those nitrates within their DNA and their proteins. And they're able to pass it along to different animals or humans, like we said, when they are eaten or consumed. Um, and that's one way that bacteria helps us transfer those nitrates in the atmosphere, the N2, down into the geosphere, the soil, back to the biosphere, humans and plants. Um, and help get that cycle going to all the spheres that we know are found on Earth. Another way that that nitrogen can get passed around is when those plants or animals decompose. Okay? And when they decompose, they're getting that nitrogen back into the soil, um, kind of where it started from. So let's recap here. Here's what we know is going on. We have all that N2 happening in the atmosphere. Okay, the N2 hangs on to those little raindrops falling down to the ground and eventually infiltrates into the ground with that water. Okay? But what we have are bacteria in the ground converting that nitrogen into our bad ammonia. No good. We don't like that ammonia. Uh, but again, we said a second bacteria converts that ammonia into nitrates, which we know are good. And those nitrates then can be absorbed by the plants to help them grow big and strong and get stored in their DNA. Okay, our little friend the cow here comes along, takes a big old bite off that plant, and then has the nitrogen within his DNA. Okay, now we know the nitrogen is stored within our cow friend there. The cow friend can release the nitrogen in two ways. Okay. That nitrogen can be released either when the animal creates waste, so yep, through manure, right back down into the soil, or when this guy moves along, passes away, he can also decompose back into the ground, just like the plants can, and pass that nitrogen back into the soil. Or our final sphere, water, or the hydrosphere. So we've almost gone full circle here. We have all spheres involved. We just need to figure out, well, how can we get that nitrogen back to the atmosphere? As we mentioned, bacteria is the nitrogen cycle's BFF. There is a third type of bacteria that when we have those nitrates in the ground, or those NO3, this third bacteria over here can remove that nitrogen or sorry, move that oxygen from the nitrogen, leaving just that single nitrogen to join up and create N2 back into the atmosphere. Now we've gone completely full circle with our help from the bacteria, helping to change and break down all the different forms of nitrogen to get it into every sphere, allowing that important nitrogen to be um, shared with both plants and animals and the earth.